everyone's panicking about AI taking over jobs, but what if I told you there are actually jobs where you can make over $250,000 because of AI? Today, I'm ranking AI jobs from A tier, the best of the best, all the way down to D tier. If you're curious about building a career in AI, this list is for you. Because it's not just about the salary, we'll look at four things. Pay based on median US salaries from levels.fyi. AI resilience, which means how safe the role is from automation, tech accessibility, or how much coding you actually need, and barrier to entry, or how tough it is to land the job. Some jobs may not require coding, but can be still very competitive. Each job can score up to 20 points, and if it's a 13 or higher, we'll consider it an A tier job. And this is just my opinion, so if you have other thoughts, please leave them in the comments. We'll start with four jobs people usually think first when they hear AI careers. And I get this question all the time. Time. I hate coding, can I still be an AI engineer? But why do you want to spend your life doing something that you hate? If you don't love coding, you probably can become an engineer, but you probably don't really want to. So instead, you can look at less technical roles. There are so many opportunities in tech that do not require heavy coding. So let's break down these roles, starting with the infamous machine learning engineer. They are the ones making AI systems work at massive scale. Think Netflix recommending a show you like or your bank flagging a fraudulent activity. That is machine learning. And the pay is great around $250,000 a year, which is also the highest salary on our list. But the catch here is that the competition is insane Every tech company wants these people, which drives up the salaries, but also makes it nearly impossible to land this job. Score is 13 out of 20, A tier, incredible money, but incredibly tough to get there. Next up is AI researchers. These are the people pushing the boundaries of what AI can do. They're in labs, publishing papers, and making the breakthroughs that hit the news. Median salary is about $168,000. And in terms of AI resilience, you can't really replace people inventing AI with AI, but this is a big but. This might be the hardest job to land on our entire list. We're talking competition with PhD level, years of research, lots of publications. So score is 11 out of 20 C tier. Amazing job security if you make it in, but the barrier of entry is almost impossible for the majority of people. Now we have AI engineers. They're a little bit more tangible. They take all these models built by the researchers and machine learning engineers and turn them into usable products. The pay is solid at 163,000 a year, not on the top of the list, but still very impressive. And the good news is that AI engineers are safe from automation because someone has to build and maintain these tools. The bad news is that this job also requires a ton of technical skills and the competition is fierce. Score is 11 out of 20. C tier, future proof, good pay, but very hard to break into. Next is data scientists. They earn about $170,000 a year, which is actually the lowest in the core AI group. So why does it rank higher? Well, because data scientists dig through data to find insights that guide real business decisions. And while AI tools are getting better at analyzing numbers, they're not replacing a human brain asking the right questions anytime soon. Plus, it's one of the more accessible paths to get into AI. You still need technical skills like Python, SQL, and statistics, but it's more manageable than what's required for, let's say, machine learning, engineering, or research. Score is 12 out of 20. It's our first B-tier job. Solid pay, relatively easier entry, and still highly relevant. Again, some of the more technical jobs may end up in lower tier, not because they're bad jobs, but because they're really hard to get. So now let's look at some engineering roles that aren't purely AI, but are still needed for the industry as a whole. And by the way, if there are any AI jobs that are not on the list that you would like to see, let me know in the comments. Data engineers build the infrastructure like pipelines, databases, and systems that data scientists use. Median salary is about $155,000 a year, which is not bad at all. AI might help automate some parts of this job, but people still need to design and keep these systems running. But you will need good coding skills to do this well. Score is 11 out of 20, C tier, a solid role, but also pretty technical. Next is a job that doesn't get enough attention, system engineers. 
These people design and maintain the big, complex computing systems that everything else runs on. They make about $140,000 a year. And what makes this job interesting is systems thinking, seeing how all the parts fit together. AI is really good at small, defined tasks, but it struggles with the bigger picture. The score is 12 out of 20, a B tier. It might be a tough job to break into, but it will become even more important as AI gets better. Quality assurance engineer or QA engineers make sure everything works before the product goes live. They make about $140,000 a year. But the catch is that AI is getting better at finding bugs for us. So it may not be as future-proof as some of the other roles. But the good news is that it is more accessible than other hardcore development roles in this category. So score is 12 out of 20, a B tier. Requires some tech skills, but less heavy on coding. This is an interesting one. Security engineers making about $218,000 a year, which is some serious money. They're the ones protecting systems from cyber threats and hackers. And as AI gets better, these risks get scarier. AI tools can help with security, but fundamentally it's a creative and complex field where the games of the role keeps changing. The catch is though that because it's highly technical, it's a competitive field. Score is 13 out of 20, A tier with massive upside and future potential. Next group is related to writing and communication. For example, technical writers. They create the documentation, the user guide, help articles, and the salary is $126,000 a year, which is the second lowest on our list. Honestly, AI is already pretty good at this. ChatGPT can write clear, structured documentation pretty well, so it could be a good entry point job if you want to land something really quickly. Four is 10 out of 20, a D tier job, a good starter role to get in quickly. Prompt engineers design input to get great outputs from AI systems. But the thing here is that this job might be temporary. We're already seeing what's called context engineering having more importance in the field. As AI gets smarter and gets better at understanding context, it will probably need less and less prompting in the future. Salary is $135,000 a year. Score is 11 out of 20, a C tier. Good for now type of job. Next, I put together some less technical jobs that might require more human interaction and strategic thinking. Project manager is a good example. They coordinate between teams and deliverables to make sure the product is meeting deadlines. Salary is around $135,000 a year. As AI gets better at scheduling and tracking, this role may be less relevant in the future, but it's easy to break into, which makes it a good stepping stone if you want to pivot into other roles later down the road. Score is 12 out of 20, B tier, another relatively accessible role. Programming manager is a bit of a tricky title because it can mean almost anything depending on the company. You might manage a recruiting program, a diversity initiative, or university partnership, or even an AI program. Basically, any big initiative at large companies might need program managers to coordinate it all. Salary is pretty good at $181,000 a year. This is about strategic thinking, making trade-offs between different priorities, the kind of complex and contextual decision-making work that AI will struggle with. The score is 15 out of 20 on A tier if you're interested in pivoting to other roles. Business development people build partnerships and find new revenue opportunities. This is about relationship building, understanding market dynamics, deal making, which requires reading people, understanding motivations, building trust, fundamentally human skills. Plus, high salary at $190,000 a year, which makes it a 13 out of 20 on A tier relationship driven role. Developer advocates are the bridge between companies and developer communities. They create content, speak at conferences, get feedback from other people, and the salary is about $161,000 a year. It can be a really fun role as it's part marketing, part education, part community building. It requires understanding both technical concepts and human psychology. 
There may not be a ton of junior roles though. So the score is 13 out of 20. A tier, I think it can be a really fun job. Next is user researchers who study how people use products through interviews, surveys, and tests. They uncover pain points and translate messy human behavior into insights for products. This role pays about $120,000. It's a very relationship-based work, which would be hard for AI to replace. Scoring 12 out of 20 at B tier, less coding and easier entry. So there you have it, the AI job tier list. If you're wondering what skills you would actually need to learn to land some of these jobs, you're in luck because I analyzed over 250 jobs to get a list for you. So watch this video and I'll see you there.